everybody right. hurts. Why didn't I go to business school? Who goes to business school? I hope the war goes on forever and Ryan gets drafted. Dwight! I'm sorry what? I said that. I didn't. Do I have an announcement? Mr. Dwight Schrute and I just returned from a wonderful stroll together. And although I probably will never do it again, I had fun. I really had fun with my best friend, Dwight. These aren't announcements. Yes, they are. You just don't care about the information. I love working here, and I do not want to leave. He doesn't love it that much. Wouldn't be such a bad thing for him to be fired. Well, I mean, like we were talking about, that is why he has come to the conclusion. We discussed the fact that I'm cooped up here instead of experiencing the whole wide world. Right. You know, plowing my own acres, going around shirtless all day, mm -hmm. you know, experiencing freedom. That's it. That's it. You can't put a price on freedom. Hey, Jim, do you want to go in the women's bathroom? No, thank you, though. You aren't curious? Not really. I've seen a bathroom before. Yeah, but it's every guy's fantasy. Oh, my God. Where is my desk? This is not funny. This is totally unprofessional. Okay, well, you're the one who lost the desk. I didn't lose my desk. Okay, calm down. Where was the last place you saw it? Okay, who moved my desk? I think you should retrace your steps. Okay, I am going to tell Michael and this entire office will be punished. Colder. Warmer. 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 Cold, cold, cold. Back up. So, what's the joke? You're not perfect either. We're not laughing at you, Dwight. So who are we laughing at? Um, just something somebody wrote. Who? Dave Barry? No, no, uh, just something that was written in the ladies' room wall. What is it? Who wrote it? Um, it's kind of private. It's about Michael. <laughs> that is defacement of company property, so you better tell me. Kelly, if you tell me, you'll be punished less. You cannot take the fall for him. He said he would do the same for me. He can do the same for you right now by getting fired instead of you. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go back to work after I write you up for insubordination. There he is. January 3, 2011. A day which will live in famously. Michael, I know what you're thinking. Holly is engaged to somebody else and you wanna kill yourself. That may seem like a good idea, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. It smells good. Tastes good, too. Oh, Donald, that's disgusting. Wow, a lot of calories. Well, just don't leave it on too long. Dwight, get out of here. No, 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 no. It's not what you did. No, why were you in there? What were you doing in there? I am not. Are you okay? Did you throw up in there? Oh, I'm just pooping. You know how I be. But it smells like throw up in here. Crazy world, a lot of smells. Guys, I'm starting to think Pam's not even pregnant. Okay. Wow, okay. No one else should even try. Well, I stand corrected. This is pretty cool. Yes. Hey, uh, where did you decide to take Karen tonight? Anna Maria's. What's the occasion? Six month anniversary. What? Nothing. I think uh, we all kind of thought you guys were just like hooking up. No, we've been dating for six months. Uh, she might mention an email that I wrote a while back. Um, oh, right. I remember that one. She read it to me. She said she's not really ready to date somebody in the office, but she really likes you as a friend. I figured. That's cool. I don't. I wouldn't want to be in an office relationship anyway. Warmer, hot, red hot, hot, very hot. 
Hi, Dwight. Um, what sort of discounts are we giving on the 20 pound white box? Jim, I've given you this information like 20 times. Right now. It's by the ream. Uh, yeah, it is now 9.78, so it's a discount of 7%. Okay, thank you. Gotta get back to work. You and Stacy set a date yet? Yeah. Oh my God, when is it? It's complicated. Like, hey everyone, let's get your boss laid Saturday. There <laughs> <laughs> you got it. No, I did now that. you got it. I have to admit, I hated you when I first met you. Oh, I apologize. Don't even apologize. I know when I first meet people, I have a tendency to come across as really mean. Hey, you want some espresso? Uh, yeah. You gotta keep yourself dehydrated. That's rule number one. Okay. I love it. I love it. Oh, I what's that? I call you serious? You really want us to roast you? Mm, it's easy, and you are. That's offensive. <laughs> it's not! What are you doing in here? This is the woman's room. You're in here. I pay for that privilege. Okay. I'm a pretty normal guy. I do one weird thing. I like to go in the women's room for number two. I've been caught several times, and I have paid dearly. I have been Michael's number two guy for about five years, and we make a great team. We're like one of those classic, famous teams. He's like Mozart, and I'm like Mozart's friend. No, I'm like Butch Cassidy, and Michael is like Mozart. Minutes from previous meeting of Knights of the Night. No, Jim, hey. Oh. This meeting is for Knights of the Night only. Knights of the Night are volunteer crime patrollers. We're often compared to the Guardian Angels, but we could not be more different from them. Seriously, we are nothing like the Guardian Angels. I mean, broad strokes purposes, sure, think Guardian Angels. One of our many recent good deeds, we set out to capture the Scranton Strangler. What are you gonna do here? Mission accomplished, not by us. The busiest beaver award goes to Phyllis Lappin! Yeah! Way to go, Phyllis, nice work. Per usual. This says bushiest beaver. What? I told them busiest it, idiots. It, it's fine. Marijuana is a memory lost drug, so maybe you just don't remember. I would remember. Well, how could you if it just erased your memory? That's not how it works. Now, how do you know how it works? Knock it off, okay? I'm interviewing you. No, you said that I'd be conducting the interview when I walked in here. Now, exactly how much pot did you smoke? Whereas what you really want is more of a Savannah accent, which is more like molasses just sort of spilling out of your mouth. Oh, now do the Swedish chef. Uh, I'm not familiar. What province is he from? He lives on Sesame Street, dumbass. Ladies. <laughs> really? It's... I hope Dwight gets fired and we get a hot new guy to replace him. Seriously? What if it's a hot new girl? Oh my God, I had not thought of that. I think it's horrible what Michael is doing. Really? I mean, this is unacceptable. Hello, gang. Hello, gang. Hey, did you ever notice that our bathroom is right next to our kitchen? How's that up to code? This is not fair, what he's doing to Dwight. Of course you think that. He's the bone guy. I think men bone women. I hate that I'm correcting that. All I'm saying is, is that Dwight can't take the blame for this. It has to land on Michael. It's time for a reckoning. It's true. Yeah. I can't keep doing this forever. It's been 20 seconds. Call it. Hey, I know what'll impress everybody. I'll start a fire. <laughs> oh, man. Bad idea. Bad idea, jeans. Uh, I have a song, attention, everyone, that I want to sing oh. that I wrote especially for this occasion when I was up there among the flames. Ready? Ryan started the fire! It was always burning since the world for turning! Ryan started the fire! It was always burning since everybody the was turning! I can't believe I started the fire. Ryan Megan Mellis, oh, Ryan Rollins, Ryan on now, Marilyn Monroe! People! Okay, everybody! This is not a test. Move to the exit. Devin, head towards the exit. Panic! Get okay, up people. on No, I don't hear it. Let's go, panic. people. No, no panic is warranted. This is not a drill. Arms at your side. Arms Please, at your side. Please, move quickly. This is a paper company, people. Step lively. This whole place is a tinderbox. It is ready to blow. This is 
not a test. Can you leave? Oh, you say that every time. Do you want to die? Oh, Do you want to die? Right, Out! Let's go, let's go, Stanley, let's go. have you ever seen a burn victim? On, Move to the exit. Your safety partner. We'll let's smoke. Go. We've got smoke. Smoke. Okay? Don't melt right into your flesh. Stay below the smoke line. Let's go! Clear out! Stat! Yeah. Why do you have the big picture up again? You used that already when you burned your foot. We're using the Ben Kingsley, too. I was going to put up some new pictures, but um, all of the ink in the printer was gone. Oh. Have you ever wondered what this place would be like if I was fired? No, 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 no! I didn't ask for a show of hands! Damn it! If I was fired and corporate brought in new management, anyone could come in to replace me. It could be some ogre who hates minorities. Oh, no, no, I don't like Oscar. He is far too Hispanic. Or some cold guy, some weird guy who doesn't want us to be a family. Just do your work, have private lives, and go home. I like that guy. Maybe it is some guy who knows that we don't actually need three accountants. Or somebody who doesn't dispense vacation time for 20-day African safaris, Phyllis. How about this? Maybe it's somebody who doesn't like the fact that a couple is romantically involved in the workplace and decides to transfer those people to other branches. Ever think about that? Well, maybe next time you should bite your tongue before you say something mean about me behind my back while I am hiding in the bathroom pretending to be pooping. Go. Force it in as deep as you can. Today is a very special day for me. And it's really not about me. It's about my grandkids. It's about my great grandkids. I can come back here when I'm 100 and I can find that piece of cement and say, that's me. Look, kids, your daddy left that face hole. I don't know. Now this way, I can't retrace my steps. I don't know what streets we've been. Ow! Excuse me, everyone, can I have your attention, please? I just wanted to say that the women in this office are terrible, especially the ones who wrote that stuff about Michael on the bathroom wall. Having a bathroom is a privilege. It is called a lady's room for a reason. And if you cannot behave like ladies, well, then you are not going to have a bathroom. You're taking away our bathroom? We are going to have two men's rooms. But where would we go? Be prepared to hold it, folks, okay, okay. from 9 a.m. Look. Um, Michael, yes? why it's banning us from our bathroom? Okay, well, that's ridiculous. So just don't, I, I don't well, have time for this right no, now. There needs to be repercussions just for don't, people's don't behavior. Don't talk, don't touch. Stop it, Stop it! If I don't have some cake soon, I might die. I did it! You did? The perfect cartwheel. No! You'll thank me later. Society teaches us that having feelings and crying is bad and wrong. Well, that's a baloney because grief isn't wrong. There is such a thing as good grief. Let's ask Charlie Brown. Guys, get a broom. Let's clean this up. Grab a broom. You heard me. Mush. We've searched the whole building, Golden Face. Where is the bomb? Hmm? We've searched the whole building, Golden Face. Where is the bomb? Hmm? 
We've searched the okay. Well, my name's Michael Scon, and I'm here to say I'm about to do the Scon in a major way. You jump to the right and you shake a hand, and you jump to the left and you shake that hand. You meet new friends, you tie some yarn, and that's how you do the scon. You jump to the right and you shake that hand, and you jump to the left and you shake that hand. You meet new friends, tie that yarn, and that's how you do the scon. You jump to the right and you shake that hand, and you jump to the left. Well, I can help starting dinner if you need it. Oh, no, 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 just the asabuco needs to braise for about three hours. Everything else is done. Three hours from now or three hours from earlier, like four o'clock? You know, Pam, in Spain, they often don't even start eating until midnight. When in Rome? Scream and run. All right, let's try it. Yeah! Oh. It's really a pleasure to be a part of it. It's like everyone has their own special skill, you know, just like the super friends. Except for Dwight, who's kind of more of a super dud. I mean, he'd be a super friend if there was a super friend whose superpower was always being late. You know? Hawkman. My plan is taking longer than I thought, but I don't give up easily. I have walked two marathons. So. Let's go. The men's room was disgusting. Around age 12, I just started going for it, you know? No! Oh, oh, God. Oh, help. Help. What, what happened? I fell off the toilet. I'm caught between the toilet and the wall. What do you need? No, not you. Someone else. Get Pam. I think Pam's gonna want to come into the men's room. Get Ryan. Oh, he needs to lift me. And he needs to clean me up a little bit. Bring a wet towel. Ryan is, uh, dead? No, he's not. Dead. I just saw him. No. Can, can you just get up yourself? I, you only grilled your foot. No, oh, forget it. I'll just get up myself. No! How? Oh! Oh, God! I hope he's okay. I feel bad. Give it up. He's dead. Sir! Gunderman Plum, it's okay. You can't park here. I just did. Um. Hi. 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 Hello, Ryan. Hi. What do you have for us? Oh. It's never whatever I want. When I wanted to see Stomp and you wanted to see Wicked, what did we see? We saw we, we, oh. When I said that I wanted to have kids and you said that you wanted me to have a vasectomy, what did I do? And then oh. when you said that you might want to have kids and I wasn't so sure, who had the vasectomy reversed? And then when you said you definitely didn't want to have kids, who had it reversed back? Snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap. I did. Okay. You have no idea the physical toll the three vasectomies have on a person. Sitting in my office with a plate of grilled bacon. Call a man twice just to see what was shaking. Yo, Mike, our town is dope and pretty. So check out how we live. In the electric city. They call it Scrimp. What? The electric city. Scrimp. What? The electric city. Call poison control if you're bit by a spider. But check that it's covered by your health care provider. provider. It reminds me of the orientation video Michael showed on my first day. The Scranton Witch Project. I am so scared when people don't label their personal food. You like coal mines and you want to see them? Well, check it out, yo. The Anthracite Museum. Plenty of space in the parking lot. But the little cars go in the compact spot. Spot, 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 spot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. OK, calm down. Please. I'm trying. I said breathe. I'm trying. Wait a second. <laughs> Are you listening to music? What? Shut that off. I'm not, <laughs> no. I'm not listening to music. <laughs> Fine. Just go crazy for a little while. Ah! <laughs> oh, you're good. You're looking good. Mm. 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 Oh, I got you. I got you. Oh, 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 oh. Michael, dance off. Go. 
Oh, that's nice. That's Go. nice. Me? Okay. Mm. Mm. Go! Oh, oh, yeah. Nice! We're gonna calm down later. I'm doing... Oh, yeah. Wash your hands, Kevin. Well, I hope this gave you a little taste of what life is like here at Dunder Mifflin Scranton. What it's like to walk a mile in Oscar's shoes or try on Phyllis's pants. Next time you're in town, give us a call. Stop on by. I'm sure you'll be greeted by a big smile and a how you doing, pal? Maybe even one of Angela's famous brownies. And you'll know that you're home. Questions?